Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Debita with Medium of the Light Tarot. All right, you guys, I am back for another love reading for you. We are going to use the Light Seer's Tarot. Sorry about that. All right. Yeah, so we're going to use the Light Seer's Tarot. If you have been here before, welcome. And if you are a newbie, why, welcome to you. If you guys haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do so. The majority of my returning watchers do not subscribe. So if you would, that would be absolutely lovely. Thank you. So, this is you, this is them, this is the storyline. Flip these two as it resonates with you. The overall card is the Knight of Swords. You have the Two of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Chariot. You're definitely looking into the future, wanting to build a solid foundation. And here's the Chariot here. You really do want to move things forward here. With the Two of Wands comes the Hierophant. You're wanting to up-level your, what I'm hearing is your spirituality, your life, like in every aspect, you have really been pulling out the stops. With this Three of Pentacles comes the Emperor. Yeah, I feel like you're taking control of your life. You're moving things forward. I feel like you've been making a lot of really great strides. With this chariot, here comes the moon card. I feel like you've been taking some deep dives with yourself. And you really want to... I don't know. I just feel like you're up-leveling everything. You, you know, with this Knight of Swords here. It's like you're moving towards your goals. Your person here has the Nine of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. So you guys are both in a really good spot where there is wish fulfillment, equal give and take, and higher learning too. So you guys might be on the same wavelength as far as spiritual or religious growth, where you want to go. Your person is very, is very enthusiastic as well here. So the interesting there's the two of the two of wands here and there's the three of wands. So you guys are very much in sync with each other. With this six of pentacles, equal give and take is the judgment card. I feel like your person has been really releasing things too. And just really feeling the difference between what you guys were, you guys, you guys might even be in some sort of healing community or having lots of discussions with each other. I feel like both of you are like either awakening together or kind of just expanding together. With this seven of swords, here comes the empress. Because all these cards have been very good, so let me look at these for a second. Either, you know, one of you have found each other, or one of you has become pregnant or about to be pregnant. So if you're not wanting to get pregnant, make sure that you take precautions for that. And if you can't see it, here it is. For a small portion of you, you might be pregnant with someone else's child. You might not even be attached to this person yet. I don't really, I feel like you guys are like friends. You know, there, there's some sort of connection, but I'm not seeing 
like a connection, like a, like you guys are dating or anything like that, but uh, you guys definitely want to. So if you were wondering, then that is the truth here. You know, and if nobody is, you know, possibly pregnant here, because like I said, this is a small portion of you, this person here thinks highly of you. They think of you as the empress. Either one or both of you are involved in other people. I almost said unrequited love, but this is like very much, you guys are totally into each other. But there's something blocking here with the nine of wands. There's indecision on how to move this forward, if it's even appropriate to move it forward. You know, and honestly, the energy between the two of you together, well, mostly separately, like both of you were kind of going along the same awakening path or expansion and growth and feeling excited and enthusiastic. You know, and then here's the magician card here. Creating what you want. Because here with this nine of wands is the two of swords. A stalemate here, wanting to move forward, but not quite sure how to. I just heard with this King of Cups here that your person wants to come forward and express themselves to you. Wow. This one just like totally flipped out. Like had to do a backflip. Okay, it was like a side flip, but still. So to me, in this particular deck, because this is the Lightseer's Tarot, this is something where it's a twin flame soulmate connection, which does not surprise me. But what's even awesome is that both of you are awakening here. You know, it's coming out with this overall, which is the, the Knight of Swords and the Lover's card. So, I mean, if you guys aren't already lovers, you're going to be for sure. All right. So what is it? What's the uncertainty here? True love. I guess there is no uncertainty. It says, this is the romance of a lifetime. And that does not surprise me. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves. Your bond deepens. And I, I can totally see that here. Is there anything holding these two back? Trust. The situation require or calls for you to have faith. Now, what is it? Okay, so somebody, one of you is worried about unrequited love here. Because... In the energy between you, uh, you is great. You is great. But you guys are, and you are communicating, but the lovers hasn't come about yet. Like I said, you could have just started and not quite for sure. So if you've just started a new romance and you guys are very much on the same page here in whatever you guys are into, this is your reading. So if this is resonating with you, please make sure to give this a thumbs up so it gets spread around to other Saggies that needs to hear this healing message. This is a good reading. I like it. Temperance. Now guys, tell me more about the Temperance card. What I just heard is there's some sort of journey that you guys need to go on. We're saying that you guys are here to spark each other, to have each other grow. And it's like, I don't want to scare you, but as you go along in this, you know, with the two of you being off awesome separately, when you come together, it's going to create a little bit of more lessons, more growth. Now, what is it that's going to be... Um, Let's see. Triggering this situation here with the Five of Swords. Lots of communication. Like I said, I feel like either one or both of you are already involved with someone else. And it's going to be kind of like throwing caution to the wind.
But there's definitely love here. Definitely love here. There's lots of... This is lots of cosmic energy. Lots and lots of it. So what I'm hearing here for now is since your person is planning on making a move here, you know, keep going at your own beat, your own vibration, because things are happening here. This is a destined situation. I definitely like this. So what is it that's going to be the final outcome for the two? Here is the Page of Cups. So even though you think things might be a little hard, pigs do fly. You know, if you're thinking like, oh, I don't know, this is, you know, whatever could be holding you guys back. There's definitely romantic love here. Wouldn't be surprised if this is like a twin flame soulmate situation here. Okay. Now, what is it? Let's see what else here. What is it the watcher needs to know here? Goddess of the moon. What I'm hearing here with this one is there's instances where things they're alluding to that there's going to be some sort of problem or some sort of hurdle for you guys to be together. But there's they're saying with this goddess of the moon that the way things seems are not the way they actually are. So there's some illusion to this. Illusion as far as how hard it might be adjacent possibilities so they want you to keep an open mind and really look into your heart and into your mind about how this is going but the the gist that i'm getting is that it's this might be become so hard that you'd be like oh maybe there's another possibility but what they want you to think of is that what you're seeing is there's some sort of illusion here and it's not about this relationship it's about how difficult it is. And I know this is, for some reason, I'm having a hard time like getting to the bottom of it, but they want you to, to really realize that there's more to this than meets the eye. And there might be some competition in your community. And they want you to check in with friends also to kind of keep yourself grounded. So there might be part of um, some of your community that might be envious of the situation that you're encountering with your person here. Oh, okay, so what they're talking about is gossip, people trying to hold you down, being envious of this kind of a spiritual connection. But that's why they're saying stay grounded and, you know, don't let, you know, the the shadows kind of cast a false sense of what this is. Because this is something amazing. So stay grounded. You know, stick to your guns. If someone, if you suspect someone's being envious, more than likely they are. And I think that they're in your community. So find people that you can trust to talk about this and share this information with. And they're also saying be very careful who you communicate with this. Because other people are going to try to sway you to other possibilities. So they're saying stay steadfast. Stick to your guns. Not that this gun, this place, this reading requires any guns. But um, this is definitely something that is destined. All right, my Saggies. I hope that this was helpful. 
And once again, if it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. All right, you guys, I'll see you on the flip side.